we have downloaded and installed Android Studio on our Windows 11 machine successfully. And as you can see here, we have also created a simple first app. So let's see how we can do it. First of all, open Google and type download Android Studio. And click on this first link that is from developer.android.com. And click on this download Android Studio Flamingo. Accept the terms and agreements and the download will start. As you can see here, it is almost 1 GB, so it will take some time. So as you can see here, our Android Studio is the download is complete. So you can just click on open file and Android Studio installer will open. Click on next. Make sure this is checked, Android virtual device. This will allow you to create virtual devices and hit next and this is where our Android Studio will be installed if you want to change it you can but I will let it install in the default directory and hit install so this is now downloading and installing the required things now the installation is complete click next and let's keep this checked start Android Studio so we will now start Android Studio and create our first Android app hit finish and as you can see, Android Studio is opening up. I will just click Don't Send at the moment. Click on File. Click on New and New Project. So let's create a first project, your first project in Android Studio. Click on No Activity for now. Hit Next. Let's call it my first Android app. And no need to change anything else here. And this is where your app will be saved. And this is the package name which uniquely identifies your app in Play Store. Click Finish. And as you can see, your app is loading. Give it some time. As you can see here at the bottom right, it is showing Gradle build model and this is the process bar. So it is taking some time to build everything required. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now in the initial run, it will take some more time because it will download Gradle and everything that is required. After this, these processes are quite faster. So in the first run, it will take some time. Okay, so now finally Gradle and all the other downloads are complete. So we have our app here and it should be empty for now. So as you can see here, it is empty. And in resources, this is where we create our layouts. So first, let's create a Hello World application. So right, right click on this resource folder, click on new and Android resource file and resource type is not values, select layout. Okay, let's call it main underscore activity. And this will load and this is what your app will look like. So in here, click on split and here let's change this to linear layout because this is a little complicated for the first app and maybe we can move on to those tutorials later on and in linear layout you need to define orientation so our app will be vertical let's click on vertical and let's create a text view set the width to wrap content and hide to wrap content and let's write hello world and let's set the size to 18 sp and let's set it set its gravity to center this means where will the text be inside the text box now we want the text box to be in the center here so for that we need to define layout gravity to center and as you can see here it is centered now but we also want it to be center and centered vertically so what to do for that you can go here and you can define gravity here as center and now everything inside this linear layout will be centered okay so we have our layout ready now how do you show this so go to your java and in this package not Android test, not test, right click and create new Java class. Let's call it main activity. 
and here extend app compat activity type control plus o together hit control o and and type on create and now you'll see this if you go click arrow and click arrow down and you will see on create click enter and this will be overrided now this is where we want to do all the you know logical things and which view to show and all all that so type set content view and here you need to pass this main activity so how do you do that r dot layout dot main activity so this means that whenever this activity will open this view will be shown now how do we tell our app that whenever an app is open which activity to show so what is the what is the first activity to show for that go to manifest.xml remove this and close this here and in here activity main activity close this and all these things will be automatically done once you close this and inside here you need an intent filter close this intent filter will be automatically closed and here type action and android name is main close this and category is main launcher so whichever activity is your launcher will be open whenever the app first opens but it is showing an error here why is that so we also need to set export it to true and now we have everything ready we have our launcher activity launcher activity is this one and this has layout of this one okay so these three are enough to run our first app now let's try to run this by this play button here but you will see no devices are connected so let's you can connect your device using data cable or you can create a device here so let's create a device go to device manager click on create device and let's create pixel 6 pro let's hit next and we have 33 api level 33 android 33 13 already downloaded but if you want to test for another device you can click on this button right next to it but i will not do that i'll just run this on this tiramisu okay hit next hit finish now this will create this device and you can just click on this play next to it it will open but i'll not do that right now i'll just close this by clicking this and now i will click on this play icon and it will start the virtual device and it will run the app let's see what happens as you can see our pixel 6 pro is opening up so as you can see here our android virtual device has started and our app is running and it is showing hello world as we have just created if you have any questions let me know in the comments below